Hello, welcome to another vlog. My name is Leonie. It is Sunday today and today I'm gonna do a Lord of the Rings movie marathon with some friends. It's been a very long time since I've seen Lord of the Rings, but some of my friends are really really big fans. So we decided to do the marathon where you watch all of these extended editions of the films, which apparently is 12 hours in total. <laughs> so it's gonna be a great day and we're gonna do um, the whole Hobbit food thing, you know how in Lord of the Rings Hobbits just like have so many meals, you know, there's there's breakfast, but what about second breakfast? And then after that, 11 C's. I think we have eight meals in total and we all made two. We're just gonna have a lot of food and have a great time in, in true Hobbit style. And this is my little, um, my little uh, autumn Hobbit outfit. Loving it, loving it. Eten, dus ik ga hem wel van de tafel afhouden, want hij gaat er naar hopen. <laughs> hij gaat er zeker naar hopen. <laughs> ik durf wel. Het is echt het horrible. <laughs> en met dit in de achtergrond. Goed, very good. Hello, it is Monday. I just went grocery shopping. I got this tea package that was on sale that had like multiple flavors of clipper tea and clipper tea is always really good. So of course I got it. And I just made myself a cup of lemon orange tea. And I really like the smell of it. It's a little too hot to drink. One thing I wanna do is kind of get out my fall decor for a bit. I know it's already, <laughs> almost October and I'm a little late and I went to the shops to get some new fall decor and couldn't find anything neither at the thrift store because I'm too late but that's okay I got something and we can use my old stuff this year I didn't really feel like decorating for fall but then I was at my friend for the Lord of the Rings marathon and she had this beautiful fall decoration and it made me want to do fall decoration as well the Lord of the Rings marathon was great by the way highly recommend the full marathon is 12 hours but it's a genuine fun day activity and I 
really felt like I went somewhere, someplace else during that day yesterday. And also we were all kind of afraid that the, I think seven, eight meals would be way too much, but it was the perfect amount. Like I never felt like I was too full. So yeah, highly recommend doing a little Lord of the Rings party with your friends. But let me show you what I got. So I bought these two like dried leaf situation things. Because if you can see over there, I still have technically my winter decoration up. I am not good at taking down my decorations. So I want to switch it out for these dried leaves because they have a nice fall vibe to it. And I needed, I needed a vase, a good long vase. So I picked this up at the thrift store. It's just a simple long vase, but it's nice if you have these kind of long things to have a very narrow vase because otherwise well, you can't really see it very well, but I put those in like a big vase and then they just all kind of splay open. But if you have a narrow vase, they stay upright. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So uh, I think I'm just gonna get whatever fall decorations I do have and just kind of flop it around my room. Sometimes I forget how rejuvenating just putting up slightly different decor in your room can feel, especially if you live in like a small place and you're just like in the same environment every single day, looking at it every single day, just changing something up a little bit can really make things feel better. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
I found like a really small, I don't know what you would call that, a bulb <laughs> of my Hobbit plant that had fallen off, I think like a really, really, really long time ago. Um, and it started growing, like even, it was just like laying there in my, what do you call that? What is the English word for that? It was laying on my windowsill for I think months <laughs> and it started to grow like a cutting, like a plant cutting would even though it was just laying there. I guess that's just what succulents do. So I decided to just put it in some soil to, just to see what happens if it's going to actually grow. That would be great. Let's check in <laughs> in another to the three months because I know that's how long it can take for cuttings from succulents to grow. A little experiment. I went to the farmer's market this morning and then I was like, oh, let me just pop into the bookstore for a second and guess what I found there? Wuthering Heights by Charlotte Bronte in the edition that fits my copy of Jane Eyre by Emily Bronte. If you see my last vlog, you know that I was looking for this in like a huge bookstore they didn't have it in this edition and I just walked into my random local bookstore and they had it. I'm not sure when I'm even going to get around to reading this. Like I really have the urge to read this right now, this instant, but there are other books that I need to be reading for my book club, for videos, etc. So we're gonna hold off on this one for a while, but I'm super excited to read this like classic. I loved the movie that they made about Emily Bronte, came out about last year loved that and I know Wuthering Heights is like a very uh, kind of obsessive classic novel about this like obsessive and toxic relationship and you know I love reading about that <laughs> so I just got myself a copy anyway I'm going to be making pita bread today because I was craving some pitas with vegetarian shawarma and I was like you know what let's make the pita bread myself I also did that for the Lord of the Rings marathon, the pizza that you saw there, I also made myself. Um, so I was like, let's try it again. Uh, because I, I just love making my own things. Oh my God, every time I make my own bread, every time I make my own bread from scratch, I'm like, wow, I'm feeling so good about life right now. So let's see if the dough has risen properly. There we go. Ooh. Oh, 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 <gasps> oh, that's, ooh, oh, it's a bit sticky. Whoa, oh, it's coming back up like a little pillow. You don't need to live in a big farmhouse surrounded by large meadows to live your own little cottagecore, slow living lifestyle, you know? You can just do it in your own tiny little room. It's just bread. Okay, let's get cooking.
Hello friends, it is Sunday. I just came back from a little visit to my parents and look what my mom gave to me. It is her little leather jacket that she bought in the 90s and she never wears it anymore. So she's allowing me to parade around in it and I'm so grateful. I really like this. I've always wanted um, a little leather jacket right now. It's very in, by the way, <laughs> this entire outfit. Okay, little lesson in <laughs> Dutch fashion. I don't know, maybe it's not Dutch. Maybe this is the case for other countries as well. But my outfit currently, it's like the stereotypical um, creative thrifty girl in the Netherlands. We all look exactly like this, like leather jacket, probably second hand. Um, hair up in a clip, these specific type of like slightly wonky golden earrings, some other kind of thrifted thing in your outfit, this blouse that I'm wearing is thrifted, and then the Doc Martens. This is as basic as it gets. <laughs> I'm wearing a uniform right now. I'm wearing the creative thrifty girly uniform that lives in like a city, a big one of the big cities in the Netherlands. <laughs> this weekend I went from fantasy hobbit to basic creative city girl. You know what? A girl can contain multitudes. Wait, there's one thing, there's one thing missing from this outfit. <laughs> The viral Uniqlo bag. Oh my god. I am a stereotype right now. <laughs> Please do let me know if this is a stereotypical outfit where you live as well. Or if this is somehow kind of like a Dutch thing. Is it a European thing? Is it an international thing? Please do let me know. You know, it, it is a nice outfit. I do like it. I do like it. <laughs> I made it worse by wearing my Sony headphones. I just find this idea of being basic very interesting because the outfit I just showed you, I know that that outfit is seen as like very basic, like very typical girly outfit to a lot of people. But I also know that to a lot of my friends that outfit would be seen as not basic at all and actually very trendy and fashionable and actually kind of like a little bit different than normal and not at all basic um so i just find it interesting like what even what does basic even mean because most of the time basic means something very different in very different groups of people like what may seem very basic on like one part of the internet or like among one group of people could be seen as out of the ordinary to other people um, so basically what I'm trying to say is it just really doesn't make sense that we're making usually women feel bad for being too basic because what does that even mean? Because if you're not trendy enough and you're too normal then that is also, people will also have an opinion about that. Might as well be basic. Anyway, what I'm gonna be doing with the rest of my afternoon, I can't believe I'm actually going to be saying this. I think I'm gonna go for a run. Oh, oh, uh, yikes, I know. I need to do some form of exercise. And I hate that, I hate it with every passion of my being. Just give it a try. Just give it a try. Maybe it's terrible and I will never do it again ever in my life. There's a very good possibility for that. Um, but I just bought cute little sports top. I think it says enough about me and my exercise habits that I didn't even own a sports top. Nice green color. I like that. I probably won't be able to run for longer than a single minute, but it's gonna be something. I only have these really, really, really old shoes that I used all throughout secondary school for PE, and before that they were my mom's, and they're kind of falling apart, but all I got. Why does everything about this feel so embarrassing? Ooh, I feel like I'm cosplaying as someone who runs. Also, what am I supposed to do with my phone and my keys? Like I can't, I can't bring a bag. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, I hated that. Oh, I hated that. Who you fit in with, what you think, but like, how many friends I always felt about it was like, it's taking like, the, like, how you relate to other people. It's Hello and happy Sunday evening. Let's do a little vibe update of what I've been enjoying, what I've been doing. Uh, wait, first a little update on the, the run that I went on. Well, <clears throat> I've come to the very humbling and embarrassing conclusion that I can run for about two minutes before I want to lay down on the street and let myself get run over by a car, so... Great. Just, I would love to be one of those people that gets to wake up Sunday morning and go for a run while the streets are still quiet and there's no one outside and you're just going for a run to empty your mind. I want to be one of those people. I don't need to do any kind of half marathon kind of things. That's not for me. I just want to be a little fit and wake up at Sunday morning and have a nice morning run. That's what I want. Okay, we'll see if I ever get there. Now for Leonie's vibe report. What am I drinking? Um, I'm currently still working my way through the clipper tea packet, like tea testing packet thing. This one is the rooibos orange. I really like it. Rooibos and orange is a really great combination. What is my candle situation? I got these two new candles from Hema. You can't really see it very well, uh, but they have like a gradient from green to a rusty brown. And I love those are two of my, two of my favorite colors. Uh, for my scented candle, I'm currently burning one of the candles I bought uh, and showed you in, I think, two vlogs ago I got from TK Maxx. This one is the Pumpkin Coconut. This was my little wild card, <laughs> kind of risky candle because it was very sweet. And I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's a lot. I cannot burn this candle for... Oh, what's going on outside? Oh, it's a helicopter. Okay. I hope everything's okay. I cannot burn this candle for more than an hour because it's too much and I'm actually gonna... <sighs> it does catch all of the moths that are plaguing my room. So it's good for something. Speaking of little light situation, if you're wondering where I got these cute little spooky ghost lights, I got them from Flying Tiger. What am I reading? Uh, of course, if you wanna know what I'm reading, my book channel, The Book Leo, completely dedicated to reading, is where it's at. But this weekend, I have been loving this book, Slewfoot. Can you see the cover? <laughs> Slewfoot, A Tale of Bewitchery. A story about a young woman in, like, colonial America, Puritan little town. And she makes, like, a deal with this forest demon slash god. Extremely vibey, if you like the movie The Witch. You're gonna love this book. And I'm also getting around to finishing the classic book, Jane Eyre. Very excited to finish this. And then I can continue and move on with Wuthering Heights. And lastly, what am I watching? I'm currently watching Gilmore Girls. It is my first time. I know a lot of people re-watch Gilmore Girls during autumn, but it's actually the first time that I'm watching it. I started last autumn, got to halfway into season three. And now this autumn, I'm continuing and I'm at season... Oh, I'm at season five already. If you're wondering who my favorite boy is so far, I've always been a fan of Jess. I'm a Jess girl through and through, even though now that I'm at season five, I'm starting to see that he's just like not for Rory. I feel like, you know, I love Jess, but I feel like he needs to let Rory go because it's just not gonna work. And I just met Logan. Like, I've seen him, like, a couple of times, and I really like what Rory and Logan have going on. Like, I feel like they really fit together. You know, I still prefer Jess over Logan, but I feel like Logan, so far, from, like, the little bits of him that I've seen, he goes very well with Rory. That is it for my fight report. <laughs> Thank you for checking in. I really hope you got some cozy little 
autumnal hobbit vibes from this vlog that's definitely the lifestyle i'm trying to live i've been loving doing this little vlog thing so uh, if you'd like to see more do leave a like and leave a comment because it does help and subscribe if you want to see more and then i'm just gonna say goodbye to you and hope to see you again next week i would love to see you again next week all right goodbye and have a nice day